To say Jason was upset with China for smoking 40 packs of cigarettes in two days was an understatement. Not to mention, he had been working hard that past week trying to catch up on a few delayed bills. Jason didn't want to get too far behind considering the circumstances of COVID shutdown and all. Oh, China, Jason sighs in dismay. And she acted as if she had no clue. Which is why, of all many reasons, why he loved her so much. I loved her. Or a certain reason that made China so attractive to me, Jason would say, like an innocent childlike demeanor about her. After the two had both awakened that early morning, Jason and she kind of like for the first part of the morning rumbled around muscled the good stuff reminding him why he loved her so much she was beautiful scrambling through his backpack and whatnots to find at least a clip of a cigarette that morning And when he hugged her, that pretty, sweet smell, fragrance of her. But he was upset with her. Could also dazzle at her bright, blonde, pixie-cut hair, soft, sweet skin and smile. But I was upset with China, Jason thought, searching for his morning cigarette thinking what happened after coming home from work and China says Dada, Dada what she called him I smoked all your cigarettes and mine meanwhile she was in the shower Jason while constantly searching, nothing, nothing. Digging through old pockets, undershirts, sheets, cushions. Oh my God, Jason interrupted himself. I just, I had the weirdest dream. He interrupted himself, shouts out at China. Baby, baby, mama, I had the weirdest dream. He screams as she was in the hot shower, fogged up the mirrors in the bathroom. While driving through the interstate, 91, coming home from work at Connecticut. On the way from work, I could hear thumping in the back, clunk, 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 clunk in the back of the car, a deep bass, like thump, also enough to shake the car, veering through my rearview mirror, if I could overhear both bumping, or could have gotten by another vehicle thinking my car got clipped from the tail end, considering the traffic around me. Besides, I was on the highway in the middle of traffic, midday at like 3, 3.30, if so. Anyway, as I immersed towards the conjunction 
on the highway, exit ramps. I could see the Westfield, Hadley, Holyoke, and Boston Road clicking on my blinker to pull over to exit. Then I heard a faded yelp, a scream like from behind in the back seat of my car. Just yet, a muffling, holler kind of. What the hell is that? I thought to myself, as I startled, I realized it was coming from the trunk of the car. Slow down. I come to a stop, emerging to the right medium, which would bring me to Westfield, West Springfield exit entrance, merging off of Agawam into the right and to the south end of Springfield. At the Sunoco gas station down there? Anyway, clunk, 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 clunk. My car was shikering, shaking. I was hurled, hurly. I prayed to myself, what the hell? Paying attention when I realized there were cruisers behind me, flashing bright blue lights. Stop, out of the, out of the car. As I stepped out to open the, the trunk of the car, and there she was. What, what? The duct tape and rope tied around her ankles and wrist was this beautiful, cute, cute little girl with jeans and white t-shirt, pixie cut blonde hair, and these radiant, bright blue eyes. <clears throat> Thinking to myself, in shock. What the hell is this? As the police behind me, I mentioned earlier, was coming for me. Blue lights flashing, but it was then I realized who she was. China stepped out of the shower, walked towards Jason saying, Dada, 